Lesson 8. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Hi there. Let's continue exploring how our perception is conditioned by our past. You might already be familiar with the idea that we live in a world of illusions, but have you considered that our past is also part of this veil of illusions that hinders us from the truth? Let's delve into the insights offered by Lesson 8 today. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Today's idea directly relates to why we see only the past, as explored in yesterday's lesson. We often believe we're observing the world as it truly is. But here's a twist, no one actually sees anything. What we perceive are simply our own past thoughts projected outward. This phenomenon also plays a part in our misconceptions about time, misconceptions that significantly shape our perceptions. The Course states it clearly. Your mind cannot grasp the present, which is the only time there is. It therefore cannot understand time, and cannot, in fact, understand anything. The only true thought we can have about the past is that it is not here. How radical is that? Let's reiterate it in the words of the Course. The one holy true thought one can hold about the past is that it is not here. Thinking about the past is essentially dwelling on illusions, and anticipating the future is much the same. When we engage in such thoughts, it's like we're hallucinating. Our mind runs on autopilot, and in truth, we're not actually thinking at all. The goal of today's exercise is to train our mind to recognize when it's not really thinking at all. Why is this important? Because when our mind is preoccupied with thoughtless thoughts, the truth is blocked. Recognizing that our mind has been caught up in its own hallucinations and not actually engaged with real ideas is the first step towards clearing our path for true vision. Today's exercises should be done with eyes closed. Why? This is a subtle technique to help us understand that we actually don't see anything, our perceptions are deceiving, a concept we will explore further during the course. So, let's close our eyes, relax, and begin searching our mind for about a minute or so. We'll simply observe the thoughts crossing our mind, naming each one according to its topic, central figure, or theme. Then, we'll move on to the next. For example, we might say, I seem to be thinking about my job. I seem to be thinking about my ex. I seem to be thinking about my depression. I seem to be thinking about buying a new smartphone. I seem to be thinking about my health issues. I seem to be thinking about going on vacation. I seem to be thinking that I need to go to the dentist. Then, after about a minute of this mind searching, let's conclude our practice by reminding ourselves. But my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. We can practice this exercise four or five times throughout the day, unless we find it irritating. If that's the case, practicing it three or four times is also effective. Interestingly, if we do find it irritating, that irritation can itself become a focus for today's exercise, along with any other resulting emotions. This approach might actually provide enlightening insights. Don't worry if you don't fully grasp this exercise today. Realizing that our minds are predominantly occupied with past thoughts can be a significant revelation. However, becoming aware of this pattern is a critical step. And remember, the only real thing we can say about the past is that it is not here. This brings us to an interesting point. If we're thinking about the past while believing we're thinking about the present moment, we're actually thinking illusions. In truth, we're not really thinking at all. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Isn't that an intriguing concept? How does it feel to view your thoughts in this new light? We are on a journey to understand the deeper workings of our minds, exploring how best to navigate our perceptions and the illusions that hinder our grasp of a deeper truth. 
This journey is one towards the attainment of inner peace, spiritual awakening, and unconditional love. We are truly blessed to have this opportunity, and even more so, to be able to embark on this journey together. You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another insightful lesson. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet watched the introduction to this video series, be sure to do so, as it lays the foundation for our journey together. Just click on the video link that will appear on your screen shortly. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.